it comes across as very Duchess of Sussex, woman of the people. She's probably trying to remind people she didn't come from royalty. The chef added, I have to say, I'm kind of, can we have our camp, which is just that not bothered anymore camp. Let everyone get on with their lives. I think most people in the country watched that. I'm just not that interested anymore. Ms. Meinzer said, this isn't her first time at the rodeo, she knows how to have these kinds of conversations, how to be bubbly. How to talk about issues she cares about but also be very much a regular person and tell stories like that where she drove a junker like so many other people in the world. It's great to see also because her previous appearances over the last year have been quite painful and she's been talking about a lot of issues that are important but also that would cause anybody a great deal of pain. The racism, the misogyny, and so on. So just to see her here, happy, bubbly is such a terrific treat. The Duchess of Sussex said, I had this very, very old Ford Explorer Sport, and, at a certain point, the key stopped working on the driver TMS side. You couldn't TMT get yourself in through the door, so after auditions, I would park at the back of the parking lot and I would open the trunk and climb in, pull the door shut behind me and crawl all over my seats to get out. That TMS how I would come to and fro, she finished with a wide smile. Meghan Markle had her breakthrough when she was cast as Rachel Zane in the legal drama Suits in 2011. She left acting behind after she became engaged with Prince Harry following a one and a half year relationship. The couple settled in California after announcing in March 2020 they had decided to take a step back from the royal family to lead a more private life. The Duke and Duchess of Sussex now live in Montecito with their two children, Archie Harrison, and Lilibet Diana. Duchess of Cambridge will give the speech at the event hosted by the Forward Trust to launch its Taking Action on Addiction campaign. Kate's latest engagement comes after it emerged Prince Harry and Meghan Markle have become impact partners and investors at sustainable investing firm Ethic. The Taking Action on Addiction campaign is led by the Forward Trust, of which Kate is patron, alongside a number of other charities. The campaign will work to raise awareness and improve understanding of addiction. During the event, Kate will meet people who have been helped by the Forward Trust. Her speech will highlight the importance of tackling misinformation and misunderstanding surrounding addiction and its roots in early childhood experiences. The event will be hosted by TV presenters Anton Deck. It comes as the Duke and Duchess of Sussex, who quit royal duties last year for a new life in America, have become impact partners and investors introduced to tech-driven asset manager Ethic in their latest project. Meghan said, from the world I come from, you don't talk about investing, right? You don't have the luxury to invest. That sounds so fancy. She added, my husband has been saying for years, gosh, don't you wish there was a place where if your values were aligned like this, you could put your money to that same sort of thing. The company confirmed that Harry and Meghan had become investors in Ethic, and also have investments managed by the firm as well. Ethic screens businesses and sectors based on social responsibility criteria, including racial justice, climate and work issues. The Sussexes hope their involvement will encourage young people to be conscious of the sustainability of their own investments. Harry said, you already have the younger generation voting with their dollars and their pounds, you know, all over the world when it comes to brands they select and choose from. The couple's Archual website highlighted their latest business venture, linking to the New York Times story which featured the headline Harry and Meghan get into finance. But Harry and Meghan acknowledged that not everyone could afford to invest money. A post on their website said, when we invest in each other we change the world. Be it through the investment of time, as with mentoring, investment in community, as with volunteering, or the investment of funds, for those who have the means to, our choices of how and where we put our energy define us as a global community. Ethic, which was founded in 2015, has $1.3 billion under management and creates separately managed accounts to invest in social responsibility themes. 
It aims to empower wealth advisors and investors to create portfolios that align personal values with financial goals. A Time to Die actor Rami Malek recently opened up on the very personal questions he asked Kate at the BAFTAs in February 2019 and the royal reaction he sparked. The actor expressed his admiration for the royals who, he said, strive to get to know everybody during their engagements on the red carpet. Appearing on Jimmy Kimmel Live On Tuesday, he recalled being mindful of the fact the Duchess of Cambridge had given birth to Prince Louis less than one year prior to their meeting in 2019. He said, I just looked at Princess Kate at one point, and I said, this must be exhausting. And she said, why? And I said, you just had a baby, right? After claiming Kate was taken aback by his question, Mr. Malek recalled being asked by the Duchess how he was doing. He recalled, I said no, how are you? And in the most regal, elegant way, she just, you know, gave me a look, but you could tell. Imagine dressed to the nines, have to talk to all these actors. While admitting the royals are so careful when it comes to opening up, he added, it was so cool, because I think I caught her off guard for a second, and had that look off, in the most elegant, professional, royal way, yes, it's a lot having a kid. Two years after speaking about the difficulties coming with motherhood, the Duchess opened up on being a mum during the pandemic. In late January, the Duchess joined a group of parents to discuss how they were coping with homeschooling their young sons and daughters. Asked to describe the experience with one word, she chose exhausting. She then said, I think as parents you have got the day-to-day -day elements of being a parent, but I suppose during lockdown we have had to take on additional roles that perhaps others in our communities, or in our lives, would have perhaps supported us and helped us with. The Duchess added with a laugh, I've become a hairdresser this lockdown, much to my children's horror, seeing mum cutting hair. We've had to become a teacher and I think, personally, I feel pulled in so many different directions and you try your best with everything, but at the end of the day I do feel exhausted. Following the encounter at the BAFTA, of which Prince William is the president, Kate and Mr. Malek met once again on September 28th. Kate was joined by her husband, Prince Charles and the Duchess of Cornwall at the world premiere of the 25th James Bond film. The Duchess took the world by storm in a gold sequined Jenny Packham cape gown, paired with nude pumps by Aquazara and gold statement earrings she previously wore during her tour of Pakistan in 2019. Mr. Malek didn't mention any exchange happening with the royal during his latest film premiere. On the other hand, actor Daniel Craig is known to have expressed appreciation for the future Queen Consort's outfit. Greeting Kate at the Royal Albert Hall, the Bond actor said, you look jolly lovely. The day after the premiere, Kate and Prince William traveled to Northern Ireland for their first visit to Derry London Derry. There, they visited the City of Derry Rugby Club and the Ulster University McGee campus. At the latter, they met some of the nursing students they spoke with via video call in February and had the chance to catch up on their work experience during the pandemic as well as their studies. Earlier this week, Kate stepped out of Kensington Palace again to back a major news study focused on the early years. The research project, launched by UCL's Center for Longitudinal Studies, tracked the development of children born in 2021 over the next five years and fits in perfectly with the Duchess' commitment to early childhood, 